Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahonka Koko Noretto Se season 2 episode number 7. Okay, the previous episode was a Valentine's Day episode. Uh, it was a nice change of pace. It was pretty funny as well and uh, nothing much happened. Only one important thing I guess happened that was like um, Honoka when like he was give, uh, she was giving her uh, chocolate to Tasuya. Uh, something happened and the android kind of uh, like got affected by it somehow I'm not sure we'll probably like get to see later on so I think that was the like one of the most important things bits of the previous episode otherwise it was like everything like it was like all uh, what can I say like it was a, like a, a nice change of pace and it was uh, something completely different that was happening in the previous episode like it was so like serious and everything and it was a nice uh, calm episode so yeah guys so okay without further ado um let's get started with episode number seven of Mahoka Koko no Retose season two okay i'll be putting the surprise and the timer here simply to whichever is your preference and let's get started here's a countdown three two one go Oh, what? They're like continually changing the missions. Is this somehow related to when they were like uh, spying on her with the satellite and like Virginia saw Tasuya? There it is. Hmm. <clears throat> well, like in, uh, what can I say? Um, especially in army and everything. Uh, his superior is everything like even if he like uh, he or she asks you to like do something which is completely like out of the mind or like something which is which uh, like should not be done at all you have to uh, like uh, complete the order because that's the order given to you by your superior same here like I get like I like uh, um, serious as um, what can I say response even though he she was a bit rattled she has to do it and she i think herself knows that i don't know like she, like he she must have gotten the part like uh spec uh, like understood the power stasia has and i'm not sure if she understands that uh she cannot take down Tatsu. i think like this is also like my guess like i'm guessing Tatsu is stronger than sirius it has to be so I'm not sure if she fully grasps Tastuya's power, but she is pretty damn powerful. So obviously, like she was unable to uh, like defeat Miyuki. So Tastuya is long ways off, but she has this Bryonic, uh weapon. So I'm not sure if that will like increase her power or something. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Uh, there it is. B ninety four containment vessels for fuel cells. Electronic brain. Okay. Seven this morning. Okay. Um. Change status. Principal records. 
Oh my god. It again rebooted, yeah. Hmm. Why is she like uh, looking for um, student records? Access uh, until the server shut down the system. My god. Wow, smiling. Android smiling. Okay, I'm guessing it is like something uh, uh, like a side effect of the parasite. <clears throat> She's still smiling. Oh my god, <laughs> she's not listening. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Yep, I, I, I knew it, like, it was uh, related to Honokas. <laughs> Honokas feelings, I, I think it got somehow transferred into it. <laughs> well, that's true. Oh my god, what the hell? It still has the robotic look in in her face, like her eyes especially. It's like looking somewhere else, but still uh, focused on Tasuya. Okay. Yep, there it is. Oh my god, this is like really like unnerving. Like the way she smiles. Like it has a mixture of robotic pattern and like a mixture of human emotions as well. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. No, uh, that's not uh, like. Yeah, it got influenced by her. Copying, okay. Burned into the pen. <laughs> yeah. Residual thoughts. <laughs> Oh my god, it's talking. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> well. Psychic power, not magic. Okay. Able to understand space. Oh yeah, uh, Andrew's vocal organs. Previous host. Not detached from the host personality. Oh, 
Oh, okay. But the personality kind of rubs off, I think it is saying something like that. Even though she cannot like remember it. Self preserved her. I send her. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 My god, just imagine the situation. <laughs> oh my god, here it is, here it comes. Concept of prayer, okay. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh my um Simple beans. Host, okay. Hmm. Like I saw this coming, like uh, obviously. Oh, okay, so she was using telekinesis for that. Yep. Human are tight. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Who is he waiting for? Oh. Wait. Oh my god. Surveillance from another faction. Oh, okay. This lady. I started to... <laughs> you can't capture Tatsuya. They will learn to your death judgment. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Like we have not seen Tatsuya's power for quite a long time. <laughs> Mere guns can't do anything. Yeah, just look at that. <laughs> And they're using like knives now. Oof! <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Engineer enhanced human. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, yeah. Yep, that's it. Okay, here it is. Is this serious? Yep, yeah, there it is. Oh, I, I thought that was like a uh, sword. That is like a... Okay, so it's a crossbow kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, she's luring her. Uh, luring him. Oh no, it it's not like a crossbow. It's more like a... What can I say? Kind of like a a staff, like like uh, in RPGs, which like uh, mages use. Yeah, like they called, uh, like told her to like wait in the park or something. But she's like fighting in the middle of the city. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh no. Oh boy, his hand. But don't you worry, Tasuya has his own tricks. Oh, there it is. It's. It's, it's a sword as well, okay. Celtic God. Oh, okay. Um, he can like regenerate that arm, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yep. Oh boy, I was I was waiting for like a fight like this. Yep. That's nothing. Like he can completely regenerate his whole body. Like he can't die technically. Well, what's your plan now, Miss um, Vic? What was her name, Victoria? Or yeah, exactly. Hmm. <clears throat> Just like that, like one of the strongest uh, person. Backed up the data they recorded and erased it. Okay. Oh, she's. Uh, Oh, like he's healing her, okay. Okay. Section three. 
Oh. Okay. Oh, so there were like two teams. Like one from the USNA and the other from uh, Saigasas. Mm, okay. What she like sensed Angie or something? <laughs> like that is terrifying then. <laughs> oh, she uh, sensed uh, his wounds. Okay. Oh, and Lena as well. Okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, that's uh, like left her in. <clears throat> yep. And the data is all gone. Yep. <laughs> and no wounds as well. <laughs> Exotype. No, 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 no. Asinogical. Wait, no, no, no. That's not. I don't think so. Yeah, what about them? Oh, her name was a Virginia, not Victoria. I, uh, what happened to them? Okay. Okay, one thing. Um, like, uh, obviously, I think, uh, like, Lena is uh, misunderstanding something. That is, like, she's thinking, like, those all of those were, like, illusions. But we've already, like, seen, like, Tatsuya's, uh, Power is completely something different. Like he, um, like he, she, he like, uh, wounded her. But then uh, I'm not sure. Like I can't remember what the actual name of the technique was. But he like reconstructed her, her body. And this, uh, like this power was shown for quite a few times. Like uh, in like season one, uh, Tasia uh, when like fought uh, Crimson Prince, uh, he reconstructed his own body at that time. And also later on, uh, he saved two people, as far as I can remember, two of the guys, I can't remember the name, uh, like uh, they were like dying and everything and he saved them by reconstructing their whole body. Uh, and as far as I can remember, it was something about like uh, reversing the time, like, uh, like correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but uh, it is something like she, he reverses the time and like uh, reconstructs the body uh, from a like previous timeline okay it's the end like uh, from uh, when like uh, he reconstructs the body uh, at a state where he was completely fine uh, that's why like he cannot die technically like he like even if his like uh, hand blows off his like legs blow off he will just like uh, reverse the time 
and uh, like uh, bring back the state when his legs and uh, hands were intact so uh, like correct me if i'm wrong i i think like this was like the explanation that was like given in like one of the pre uh, like in pre in the previous season <coughs> and <coughs> okay so yeah okay so this episode was obviously like uh, in the previous episode i kind of guessed it because obviously like uh, honoka's uh, feelings at that time was like affection towards uh, tatsuya so when that thing like uh, uh, came out uh, like uh, i don't know what the hell happened but the feelings kind of like uh, generated a kind of like a pulse and that pulse uh, went to and struck uh, at the android pixie so like at that time i kind of like guessed that obviously the uh, parasite including the android will join tatsuya's team because obviously like it woke up by like uh, hearing those feelings like it is kind of like an Im uh, like imprinting thing like obviously like uh, when like a uh, little uh, uh, babies like of an like, animal like there are certain I'm, I'm not sure which animal those are but certain animals like when they like the p person they see at the uh, like after like uh, opening their eyes they think that is their like parents or something so it is something like that like the thoughts or the feelings that Pixie got to uh, feel when she woke up for the first time that kind of became her whole point of existence kind of thing so obviously like uh, she won't um, like uh, rebel towards uh, them and they like she will become an uh, ally so I'm guessing the whole parasite thing is uh, kind of resolved then I'm not sure if there are like other parasites as well but at least like this parasite won't um pose any problem in the future episodes uh and what else um okay then obviously like uh, the command uh, like virginia that lady she uh changed the mission and i'm not sure if like the changing of the mission was due to the factor that she like she was in the previous episode she was spying on them when like Angie was standing and Tatsu and Miki was standing as well and I'm not sure if like after seeing that he, she somehow like what can I say um, suspected something and decided to like um, change the mission suddenly like from the like to like again like which was the first mission the first mission was this only this was the first mission but they changed it midway and then they again changed it now so <clears throat> yeah and uh, like uh, she like blatantly told um, what can I say like what was yeah she blatantly told Angie that you have to like capture Tatsuya like um, so obviously like she has to like listen to her because she's a superior and uh, yeah and I was like thinking that she probably did not know the actual extent of Tatsuya's power like she knew at pretty much at a like a little bit of like the, the amount of power that Tatsuya had like she knew that uh, Tatsuya is pretty damn strong but she did not know that Tatsuya is not pretty damn strong Tatsuya is very much strong and like something which obviously like cannot be stopped by um, like normal means and this uh, Brion act that the weapon Used, she probably thought that if this will be enough for her to uh, apprehend Tatsuya uh, or whatever so yeah like she underestimated him and like we've seen Tatsuya from season one so like um, I can kind of like uh, like know that yeah Tatsuya nothing can happen to him uh, unless like something too, like uh, of a too large scale happens like something of a uh, pretty big like what can I say a pretty big power comes in like uh, confronts Tatsuya Tatsuya won't be uh, won't lose so yeah like one thing about this anime which <laughs> is not a problem is like uh, in like other animals like uh, there is kind of like uh, what can I say um a fear kind of like a fear or a uh, concern that what will happen if uh, a part, like enemy which is more powerful than the main characters come obviously the main characters will like um, 
progress and like become more stronger than the uh, villain than the fight them but in this anime there's <laughs> no such uh, like concern like everything regarding Tatsuya no nothing can happen to it but there is a concern like regarding the other characters like uh, we still don't know like anything can happen to the other characters but Tatsuya like um, like if Tatsuya is with them nothing can happen like just um <laughs> Like, no concern at all, like, nothing can ever touch anyone if Tatsu is, like, uh, <coughs> with them. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm not sure if this continues towards, like, even, like, at the end of the whole uh, story. Uh, like, uh, I'm not sure if, like, there will ever be someone who will be at par with Tatsuya. Or, like, even stronger than Tatsuya. I don't know. So, who knows, like, uh, even if, like, any enemy like that comes, it will probably be at, like, almost at the end of the story, I think. So, yeah, so, <laughs> I don't think there's, like, any concern about that now, at least now. And, uh, okay, and what else? Oh, and another thing we got to know in this episode was, uh, Two teams, like the first team was obviously the like uh, Sirius's team, uh, who were obviously like trying to uh, capture Tatsuya. They were one team, and the other team was um, Saigusa families. Uh, the current leader of Saigusa family, Mr. Koichi. Uh, uh, he seems to be interested in the uh, like. Just a sec. What did they say? Yeah, parasite. He's investigating the parasites, or more likely, he's trying to capture one. Oh, okay. Okay, so one thing might become a problem here. Like, I did not think of this previously. Uh, he, like, this uh, Saigus's, uh, I'm guessing, dad, like the leader, current leader, uh, he is trying to capture Parasite. So, like, obviously, he can, like, try to capture uh, uh, Pixie. Like, she is, like, uh, like, she's a parasite sitting in front of them. I'm guessing something might happen like that because, uh, obviously, like, Saigusa will also come to know about Pixie and, like, her um, being, a, like, a parasite residing in, within her. So, most probably that will uh, go into, like, uh, Mr. Koichi's uh, ears and he will get to know that. Then, most probably, he'll try to capture Pixie or, like, uh, extract the parasite from her. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, and another thing is so. Um, so here's the thing: like uh, the parasite itself has the what can I say emotions that sh like it is um, <coughs> showing to us Tatsuya. So that means that uh, the android, that is the AI of the android. I I think that the, like obviously the android has android or robot has an AI. So like the whole feelings kind of thing, the emotions that is like uh, in Pixie right now, that is not an effect from the AI that is a direct influence from the uh, parasite so I'm guessing if the parasite like leaves uh, Pixie Pixie will again like become this like uh, Android who uh, is an Android like what's like uh, behaves like an Android it will she will not have this uh, all of these like emotions that are like currently residing within her I'm guessing something like that oh also another thing they uh, mentioned in this episode was how the parasites work so um, just a sec let me check this portion out again like when they were saying that there was a few things like she says that I do not remember and then she gives an explanation uh, here it is the only thing we can inherit while uh, shifting host bodies <clears throat> is the knowledge detached from the host's personality detached from the host's personality so um, Okay, uh, so like uh, knowledge detached from the host personality. Okay, kind of get it. Okay, then um, we lose all memories linked to their personality upon moving. Okay, so she gains the knowledge but loses the memories. So this is more like uh, what can I say? Like uh, like in amnesia, like people who like suffer from amnesia, they obviously like uh, do not remember people's faces or do not remember like uh, <clears throat> like anything, like any kind of uh, thing that they should like they were they had in their mind. But they obviously remember how to eat, how to drive. I think in few cases, how to walk, all of these things. Like uh, 
like amisha doesn't mean that you can you forget to eat like obviously when you feel hungry you can eat like those are more like what can i say like memories which are ingrained within you like they are kind of like a mixture of muscle memory as well as something which like you already know like it is like rooted deep in the subconscious so this is more like that i think so like they lose all the memories like all of the external memories that is for example uh, a person's face who they were what was their name all of these things they like forget all of those but the more what can i say the um, uh, things which are ingrained within the personality they do not forget that something like that i'm guessing so as i said like this is more like an amnesia case like you forget all of the like uh, memories but remember the main things which are like deeply ingrained within you so that means like if uh, the parasite moves from one host to another and then another like uh, for example four hosts like just like I'm, I'm taking an example before coming inside pixie let me like just take an example of four hosts like the parasite moved between four hosts so does that mean that uh, <coughs> it will have like uh, the uh, memories linked to, uh, no not memories uh, the knowledge yeah the knowledge linked to the um, what was that called just a sec host personality the knowledge detached from the host personalities those like vestiges of uh, the knowledge so that means that it will contain all of those four hostess uh, knowledge of the personalities so it will become kind of like a fusion of all of those like obviously it will not remember all of the uh, like details it had in their lives but still uh, so i'm guessing like so what is this emotion like uh, this thing that is now affecting pixie that um, uh, the uh, like affection towards Sansuya? I'm guessing this is also something which is uh, close to like uh, the knowledge from a host personality like uh, like love or the emotion like affection uh, the emotion of affection or love it is not something that you uh, like remember that is not a memory like that is deeply ingrained within you like if you feel uh, love towards someone uh, but i think it also is uh, like a little bit of that also like depends on the memories as well like if you forget the person you cannot remember but still uh, like there is uh, yeah but I, I i think like this is more like uh, this thing like this emotion is more uh, deeply ingrained within the person's personality so i'm guessing if someday or somehow uh, pixie detaches from uh, not pixie the parasite detaches from pixie and takes in another host so okay so will that like she still remember tatsuya's like the feeling towards the tatsuya i'm guessing it is something like that who knows uh i'm getting into too much like um what can i say yeah it will be most probably something like that like it must have like some little bit of effect even it like uh, as she said that uh, the knowledge of the personalities will still remain even if like the memories are not there <sighs> so yeah and like this is a problem for honoka as like like obviously people like have a filter in their mouth like they don't blab about everything so obviously like the affection towards <laughs> honoka uh, like honoka had to Stasia. Uh, is not something that she talks about but in front of like uh, when she is there like pixie is there nothing can be a secret everything will be like in front of them and Tasha himself knows that honoka adores him so that is not a problem and everyone knows not only Tasuya. and so another thing i mentioned it in the previous episode like uh, miyuki does not understand her own like feelings like there is another like uh, good proof in this episode like uh, when uh, Pixie hugged Tatsuya, um, Honoka was jealous. She was, she was like pouting and everything, obviously because she likes him, like Tatsuya. Miyuki as well. Miyuki is like <laughs> this whole like aura in front of her and then faces like that. There it is. Like this is one thing. And then in the second uh, scene where like uh, the Pixie is like talking about her feelings, Honoka is trying to stop her and uh, honoka is like falling down and like uh, <laughs> in like shame and everything miyuki is not getting jealous at that point she is like 
I think patting her hair or something. <laughs> like there was Erika and Miyuki who were like patting Honoka's head. So this is the like what can I say? Discrepancy. Discrepancy is that a word? Yeah, I think so. So between like uh like between her feelings like she knows that she like likes Tatsuya but still at the same time she thinks that they have siblings so obviously she should like support Honoka something like that so this is like a mix of like a, like a confusion which is within her which obviously this uh, episode also proved to me so yeah so it's more like she will get jealous one like like jealous but at the same time she will like try to uh, what can I say uh, support her uh, brothers uh, like if someone has some kind of a romantic uh, feeling towards her brother she will also try to support that at the same time so yeah kind of like a um, paradox in this situation like uh, what can I say like yeah Okay, so yeah, this was this episode, and, and at the end we see like um, serious like uh, like Angelina li lying down, and like Tatsuya after tying Tatsuya uh, healed her, and all of the like datas are gone, and she like uh, called uh, the like uh, main control room, I think, and no one was uh, picking it up, and I could not see it was like all dark and everything. I can't see anyone here, so something must have happened there as well. So yeah, we'll probably get to know in the next episode. So yeah, guys, uh, that was uh, this episode. This was episode number um, seven of Mauka Koko no Retose season two. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so. And comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to share about this episode or the anime itself. I'll be sure to check them out. So yeah, guys, um, I'll be back with a new um, video, a uh, new uh, episode of Mauka Koko no Retose season two next week, same time. So until then goodbye and have a nice day.